Hey guys, I want to show you this program, Malware by Santi Malware. There is a good chance that you have already heard of it. Um, I've been using the free version on my desktop computer for quite a while now. Um, I decided to do a scan yesterday and I was horrified when it came up with um, 20 different malware infections. Um, I had the, um, you know, the most up-to-date version of AVG Free Edition. However, it obviously wasn't good enough to prevent the malware from entering the system. Um, I'm not sure if the paid version of AVG is any better or not. Um, so I decided to get Malwarebytes Pro for my laptop. Um, I would probably be installing Linux on my desktop, so I didn't worry about buying it for that system. Um, so now let's take a look at the software. As you can see, I'm now on the scanner tab. I have three different options. I can either perform a quick scan, perform a full scan, or perform a flash scan. And here is the protection tab. If you have the free version of Malwarebytes, um, you will most likely have a message telling you to upgrade um, to the pro version for um, the real-time protection module. Um, it only costs um, US $25 to upgrade and I would highly recommend doing so. The difference between the free and the paid version is with the free version you have to manually open and scan your system yourself whereas the paid version has a real-time module so if you go to a website which has if you go to a website which is trying to um, install malicious content onto your system it should block it in real time and you can also um, schedule scans in um, the paid version so um, you can set it to scan at a certain time every day um, I would highly um, highly recommend upgrading um, the fee, you only have to pay the fee once it's not an annual subscription or anything like that and I'm pretty sure that you have free um, update, um, updates for life, which is um, pretty generous, really. Um, so we have four options here. Protection is enabled. Uh, we have start protection module with Windows. There is no point in buying the pro version if you are going to have this box ticked. Start file execution blocking when protection module starts. Start malicious website blocking when protection module starts. Show tooltip balloon when malicious website is blocked. Um, I would highly recommend keeping all four of these boxes checked. If you really want to, you can uncheck the last box. So even then, I still wouldn't uncheck it. Let's look at the scheduler. As you can see, um, I have scheduled it to automatically update at 10 a.m. every day. I haven't... Um, automatically set it up to um, do a scan every day yeah um, we have a few different options down here rate computer from sleep to, perf to perform task I personally wouldn't go that far perform scheduled scan silently from system account terminate program when scan completes successfully remove and quarantine all threats automatically uh, you know I probably wouldn't um, tick that box either, that's up to you. Save log file regardless of user settings. Restart the computer if required for threat removal. Um, I wouldn't tick that one either, it's always nice to actually be asked. Um, let's look at the update tab. Um, I got a balloon tip before saying it had updated, so there shouldn't be any new updates. Uh, no, you have the latest database version. The quarantine tab. Um, basically, um, when um, malicious um, content or malware is found on your system, it um, is moved to quarantine. Uh, the reason for this is um, all um, you know anti-malware, antivirus programs, um, you know, accidentally um, detect genuine files and programs as malware sometimes, and you want to be able to easily recover these files and programs. So. Um, if a, you know, a genuine um, program is detected as malware, you can easily restore it. Or if you are you know, certain that it is malware, you can easily delete it. Uh, we have logs. I don't have many logs because um, I just installed um, the software on my laptop yesterday. As you can see, um, the, the log file is you know, pretty empty. There's not much in it. Um, you know, no, you know, no malware has been detected, which is, you know, good, I suppose. Uh, we have the ignore list. So if you have um, a certain program that is um, detected as malware, whereas you know for sure that it's not, you can add it to the ignore list. 
uh, the settings. Um, I won't go into them too deeply. Uh, terminate Internet Explorer during threat removal. Anonymously report usage statistics. Create right-click context menu. Automatically save log file after scan completes. Open log file immediately after saving. Um, I personally like to um, have a look at the log files and, you know, see what's in them. Um, warn if database is outdated by seven days. It might not be a bad idea to set that to two or three days. It's, um, yeah, you know, like if you have a laptop and you don't use it every day, you don't want it to be um, out of date by, you know, too many days. Um, language, English, you have quite a few different options here. We have the scanner settings. Um, when it comes to scanning your computer, um, the more you scan, the longer it takes. However, you know, the more secure your system is. Um, I personally like to do um, the full scan, I believe. Yeah, I personally like to do the full scan. Um, it might take longer though, um, you know, my laptop is powerful enough so I can go about doing my thing and the scan won't really interrupt me. So, you know, it's up to you really whether you want to do the quick or the full scan. Though, um, keep in mind that the full scan um, picks up malware that the quick scan um, doesn't. Um, and we have more tools. We have File Assassin. File Assassin can help delete locked files. I have never used um, this tool before. So you must just um, find the locked file and open it and it will delete it for you. Um, as you can see here, I have the latest version of Malwarebytes. Um, if you want to check out the program and give it a go, I would recommend um, downloading the free version first. Um, and doing a scan, a full scan. Um, if you don't have um, any antivirus software on your computer or if the antivirus software isn't that good then there is a high chance of you having malware. So get the free version from malwarebytes.org, do a scan. You know, if you like the program, you know, use it two or three um, times a week in the free version. You have to manually open it and do a manual scan. So do it two or three times a week. Or if you have the money to dish out the $25, then I would highly recommend getting the pro version of Malwarebytes. Uh, thanks for watching.